Hey y'all, it's Pierre Bot from Game Press, and we are here with next week's events. And the theme is going to be Hall of Fame. It's going to start on Wednesday, November 30th, and it's going to go through Tuesday, December 6th. And as usual, we're going to go through all the different creatures, what you can dart, and what we suggest you go for. So first off, we have our commons on Wednesday and Thursday, and we have 27 attempts at Brontotherium, which is a battle exclusive, Enos Transivia, which is a local one, Day Dawn Dusk, and Lythranax, which is a local three anytime. We would normally say go for what you need on the commons. Brontotherium is a battle exclusive, so you can only get that DNA by battling in the arena. It's also a fantastic a creature in the common tournaments, especially the common only advantage tournaments. Enos Transivia, however, also has three hybrids, four if you include the super hybrid um, of Edaphosivia. So um, I think one of those two is going to be your best option with the commons. On Friday and Saturday, we get 12 attempts at epics. We have Diplodocus, which is an exclusive, Giganotosaurus, which is an exclusive, Moros Intrepidus, which is an exclusive, and Pulmono Scorpius, which is an exclusive. So we have all exclusive creatures in the epics. It's going to be a tough choice. I think a lot of people are going to go for a Pulmono Scorpius, which is not a bad option. Um, if you remember, even a level 20 scorpion can wreak havoc on a level 30 fully boosted team, um, as we found out in the uh, the tournament last weekend. However, Giganotosaurus is actually one of the hard counters to the Scorpion in those tournaments. So um, I think it's going to be dependent on what you really are looking for. Diplodocus uh, has a hybrid of Gemini Titan, which is now getting an Apex hybrid. So I really think um, it depends on what your focus is. If you are arena focused, Diplodocus could be a great option for you. If you are more tournament focused, I think Giganotosaurus or Pulmonoscorpius is going to be a good option. However, if you are one of those people that likes to just stock up on that DNA, or you really like flocks, I think um, Moros Intrepidus will be your best option. Um, so kind of see what you want to do as far as what you have DNA wise and what your focus is in the game before deciding what you want to uh, dart on the um, epic creatures. On Sunday, we get two attempts at um, legendary. Technically, both of these legendaries are on uh, wild on the map. We've got Parasaurolophus Lux, which is a global short range exclusive anytime, meaning it's only available as a short range creature. And then we have Rexy, which is a global short range only day dawn dusk time. Um, <laughs> last time we had a Parasaurolophus Lux. Uh, they did not spawn the correct creature. It spawned the common Parasaurolophus. So hopefully they get that fixed. I do think Rexy is still going to be your best option. It is still a fantastic creature. It's very viable in many different formats. Um, and so I think of the two, Rexy is the best option. Monday and Tuesday, we get 24 attempts at rares. We have Albertosaurus, which is an exclusive. Arctops, which is an exclusive. Servalsis which is an exclusive, and Quetzalcoatlus, which is also an exclusive. So once again, we have all exclusives to choose from in the rares. 24 attempts is quite a few attempts. And I think if we're really looking at the top two, uh, Arctops and Albertosaurus, I think are going to be the best two options. Albertosaurus is a great creature, especially in tournaments. Um, in the rare format. It is really good. Um, it's got that instant attack that's sometimes really hard to counter. Uh, Arctops is not a bad option. I, I still think um, Alberto is going to be the better option of the two. And if you are still trying to get that Apex Bear, then go for Savasis. That's going to be um, kind of another dependent on what you want to focus on. Um, but I think uh, go for what you need on the rares, I do think Albert's going to be the most popular option. Um, all of the strike events are going to have the same DNA options as we see under the supply drops, so it's going to be Hall of Fame themed. On Friday, we have a Titanoboa 
epic strike event so you'll get the chance to get titana boa dna which is also an exclusive creature we have our attack health and speed boost strike events on thursday saturday and monday i actually cannot tell what that scent is it looks like it could be an ankylosauride scent but honestly it's really hard to see um it could be also a fisher theropod scent so i'm i'm making speculations here um we won't know until we actually get in um the game on thursday and see what that actual pool of creatures is for that scent we have a uh uteraptor pursuit is coming up that is the last creature of the this current pursuit that we have going on which is alberta spinos so um uteraptor is normally a global creature so you're just going to see a lot more of it coming out starting on wednesday um november 30th we have a cash tournament this weekend it is the last tournament of the current championship the current championship um and so we have rare epic legendary unique all it is an advantage tournament and it does have an ex um restriction we are only able to use 2.11 creatures and older only so that should make things really interesting i don't think there's many if at all flocks available this tournament um look at things like dealer workyris and other creatures that have been around a while uh, we also have some newly buffed creatures coming out in the 2.20 update uh, which will um, go live on november 29th so i think um there's gonna, it's gonna be an interesting tournament and all of those People that did not unboost their old creatures, I think you're going to do really well this weekend. And it is for hard cash. And once again, it is the last tournament of the current championship that we have going on. That championship will end on Monday at the end of the tournament. And then there is about two hours before you're able to claim those rewards. We like to give this disclaimer every single month just to make sure everyone remembers don't leave your current alliance until you have actually collected your alliance championship incubator if the tournament ends um, which would be at 10 a.m eastern standard time you cannot collect rewards until noon eastern standard time so you do have two hours if you jump out of your alliance during that time period you will lose your alliance championship incubator so make sure the alliance you are in when the alliance championship ends is the same alliance you stay in until you get that alliance championship incubator or you will lose it uh update obviously um goes live on november 29th so some really exciting things new features coming new creatures um some creature updates and buffs uh on wednesday november 30th you will see a, an article come out from game press and it's going to have all of this information as far as what we think you should dart as well as what the discord um the game press discord thinks they uh are going to go for in that article, don't forget to scroll away all the way down to the bottom and you will find a button that will give you 50 in-game hard cash for free. All you have to do is click the button on the device that you play Jurassic World Alive on and you will get 50 in-game hard cash. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. There is going to be a lot of content coming out once 2.20 um, goes live and hits new creatures new features and a lot of exciting stuff coming up so don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss anything and thanks for listening y'all